in the uh, in World War II with these training aircraft. Let's watch now. Is our president, Mike Fuchel, lands his. Beautiful job by Mike, and he's the one that setting up this this uh, balloon festival and doing a tremendous job. You get a chance to thank him. This COVID year, he's done a tremendous job even having a season. It's our 50th year. 1970, the air show, the Flying Circus, was established by World War II pilots. Even an Episcopal priest, Father John Fazell, flying a Tiger Moth and a, a uh, congressman, Stan Parrish. Here's uh, Jim Wine. Jim, uh, you also had one of those happen. Oh, I have. I've, I have two reserve rides in my time out here, and uh, it's always an exciting time. That is why we carry two, and we're always ready for it. We're always prepared for it, and uh, I was I was waiting for it myself as well. Today it happened to be Joe's turn. Of course, he had to upstage me, you know. Did a very good job, and he put that reserve right next to target. Good, good congratulations, Joe. Joe Cameron, give him a hand there, folks. It's like with Waldo Pepper, the guy that came down and said, guess who's still alive? Me. <laughs> All, right. All right, Baron. You guys used this in World War I, and of course it was used in World War II. It's from previous war, fellas. Yeah, but we're just going to use the uh, propeller. And Barry, I'll tell you what, let's do the same contest we had last week. Remember, the blue and what, blue and yellow airplanes are the Army Air Corps. The yellow are the Navy and the Marines. So, Baron, we will use the blue and yellow for the Army Air Corps, and then we'll give you the yellow ones and the checkerboard tail, and of course, Keith Furman. And, uh, oh, Big Red is up there, too, so we'll give you those, too. You can have the checkerboard on. Okay, you got the... I want Big Red. You, well, you got Big Red. Okay, here comes uh, lead pilot John Pojok. The Rocco, UPF-7, YPT-14. It's one for the Army Air Corps, right there. The oh, Army Air Corps. Now, we do not have a standalone Air Force until 1947. So during World War II, it was the United States Army Air Corps, checkerboard tail. Is that going to be you guys or me? No, oh, sure. Okay, so that's uh, we're, we're still only one for the Army Air Corps. The neighbor doesn't fly that bad. <laughs> Army Air Corps. Oh, Rick Tom. Now there it is going in circles. I'll explain that in a second. Here comes Big Red. That's yours. He missed. Picture, if you will, a GoPro underwater behind an outboard motorboat. You see the water going in circles. Well, that's what's happening behind these airplanes. The air is going in circles from the propeller. And that's why you see the balloons going in circles and descending. Crop wash or wake turbulence descends. And the emperor So finally one Army Air Corps hit. Keith Furman, Navy. Passing neatly between the balloons, Baron. There were three balloons and he managed to miss all three of them. <laughs> A4 pilot, A7 pilot. A4 Heineman hot rod and the A7, a tremendous airplane. All right, see it going in circles and falling, descending down the little trees. I don't think anybody's going to stick in there tonight. Top of the batting order, the Waco UPF-7, YPT-14. Narrow miss. Now that is the 14th airplane built by the Waco company trying to get the Army Air Corps contracts. Very rare airplane. They did not get them. Remember the checkerboard tail. There's going to be some great aerobatics in a couple minutes. Baron, we're having trouble hitting the balloons today. See the top horse taking the right down below the tree level. You're getting a great, graphic example 